before you watch this episode, you might want to consider pledging to our Patreon. Patreon.com slash moist cheeks. Eh? You're not going to get content like that anywhere else, man. <laughs> <laughs> Slash I know. <laughs> oh God. Welcome to another episode of the Moist Cheeks Podcast. Yes, dude. Um, are we actually rolling? Yeah, we're rolling. Oh, the camera's rolling? Cameras are rolling. Oh, well, that actually right. smells pretty good. <laughs> All right. Sick. Welcome! <laughs> <laughs> um, I, was, I didn't know I was supposed to be ready. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. I shouldn't have announced it. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Moist Cheeks Podcast. Uh, sheesh! Sheesh! God, I hate that. <laughs> you were immediately on it, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, first off, I want to say thank you to Illuminidal Candles. Um, they sent us these fucking rad candles, man. They came out really good. I'm happy with them. And they look good on the table. Mine has a <laughs> satanic coat. Yeah, I, I'm. Yours is the best. Yours is the best. It's yeah, super sick. It's like, dude, because yeah. I look like Jesus already. <laughs> yeah, I mean, their whole gimmick is they just make uh, candles with celebrities on it. So I don't know why they made us. So because you asked them to, <laughs> right? Yeah, but why would they agree for free? <laughs> I don't know. Because it's you. No, you're fucking famous. No. dumb shit. No. <laughs> God, dude. Um, yeah, and then we also I I, I want to give a shout out to um, to uh, at young underscore og underscore ced. He sent us some hot sauce, um, spicy K's hot sauce. I guess we could taste uh, see what flavor tastes better, which one's spicier. Yeah, and then later what shit hurts worse. Yeah. I don't know how you'd be able to tell the difference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh yeah, that was definitely yeah. the hot ones. And then uh, <laughs> since we have hot sauce on the show, Damon, um, how long ago did you buy this? Forever ago. When I was still doing stunts on my OnlyFans. Because it was supposed, I made it, like, I bought it for a bit, so I was going to use that as a lube. And, like, jack off in it. It's a brilliant idea, I know. <laughs> that, oh my god, dude. So, but I haven't done that yet, because OnlyFans doesn't like stunt content. All my shit got deleted from there, so... Besides me being nude, were you gonna were you gonna go till till finish? Like, were you gonna like? That was my plan. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was my try try to do. That's gnarly. That would have sucked. Yeah, I feel like I, I. That's the thing. I feel like I actually could come with it. <laughs> I, I don't know. This is off subject a little bit, but. You should save some of that ice cream. I know. That's why I got it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I, I thought I have, you a, I have a fuck ton in okay. there. Yeah. So, so, so this is the, so is this the last one? The last hot sauce on the show? Yeah. That's the last that's, one. This is the last it, one. It, it, and Duh. It says the last <laughs> dab on it. Yeah. Oh, it does. But like, um, that, that's like the top tier one. Like I made sure to get like the spiciest of the spiciest yeah. one. Yeah. Cause that's, that's one with pepper X. Yeah. How much did it cost? Like 25. You gotta do this. Sean <laughs> Evans, yeah, tradition around yeah. here. <laughs> Fuck. So should we just barge it and go right to it? I'm gonna do that one first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Level key key level ten out of ten. Caution: the hottest the hottest sauce on hot ones cranks the spice levels even higher with this special triple X rated version of the last dab. So it's not even the one they use on the show. It's a triple X version. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, that's what triple X rated version of the last dab. Three distinct strains of Smoke and Ed Curry's most infamous chili pepper X, chocolate pepper X, and peach pepper X combined to smoke out celebrity guests and fans alike. God. Smoke out, bro. <laughs> Add a dab to your favorite foods and live the hot ones tradition. This chocolate pepper X? The fuck? What's what? the hottest hot sauce what? that you've had so far? What? Ever? Yeah. Like, have what? you ever, I like, gotten the, exotic hot sauce? I had like, the, the, the bomb, whatever the fuck at. <laughs> Dude, at yeah. Caden's house? Yeah, that was a bad time. The bomb is the fucking worst. It just, <sighs> we I tried maybe a dime-sized yeah. dab, if that, on, like, a, just like a tortilla chip. And yeah, it's a bad I time. I was in pain. And for that for one, how long? 
How long did it suck? For a while. I think like in like I think it was a, a solid of like 40 minutes. Ugh, I don't know. Time doesn't really exist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I've like, also tried the last dab before. Yeah. And Have it's you? rough. And I was pretty drunk when we tried it and got swindled into trying it. <laughs> I got that Caden's house. Oh, yeah. You should tell that story. We're, pretty good. <laughs> I, I was on the front porch uh, with some friends. I think Colby was there. And Caden comes. And he's like, Yo, fucking come inside. I'm going to, I don't know what he thought or what I thought. He's like, I'm, I want to fucking lick the, the last dab hot sauce off your nipples or something like that. And yeah. so like I walk in his kitchen, he's like, take your shirt off. And then to Colby, he's like, take yeah. your shirt off. And I thought, oh, maybe Colby was going to do it to me. <laughs> yeah. Or he was going to, and then he, so he pours hot sauce on one of my nipples, like a shit ton. <laughs> And then pour some on, mm. on Colby's and it's like dripping, not just on his nipple, <laughs> yeah. like all the way down. And he's like, all right, now you lick it off each other. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> this is what I signed up for. <laughs> I thought he was just yeah. really drunk and getting fucking frisky and wanted to lick <laughs> Hot Ones last dab yeah. sauce off of my yeah. and Colby's nipples. And, and it was worse than the bomb. Than the bomb. Yeah, dude. The bomb uh, is like seven, like it's like the seventh one, I think, on the lineup. But everyone freaks out on the bomb. Though. The bomb because the bomb the worst. is just well. Yeah. That one's just pure extract. Yeah, it's pure. It's extract not even it's like made with peppers. It's, yeah. They're like it's not like yeah. It's pure pain. Yeah. <sighs> uh, no, I mean that was like probably three or four years ago when that happened. Probably about three, and I, I was drinking, but I wasn't like blackout. But it's like hard to remember the pain. I remember I was all I was doing was just chugging beer and eating pizza to try to like mask. Yeah. To, to mask God. the fucking pain on my tongue. That sounds miserable. Um, yeah, so we're going to do it right now. Yeah, we're going to do it right now. Yay. Um, Say goodbye to my fucking hemorrhoid. <laughs> you goodbye. Have hemorrhoid? Yeah, I have a hemorrhoid on right now. I'm not looking forward to shitting <laughs> later. So thanks, guys, for <laughs> inviting me on this podcast. I think that'd be welcoming it when he's saying goodbye. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah hopefully it fucking puckers my butthole. So just... It just like uh, solders it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Just, just <laughs> All right. So we're off. trying this one first, right? Yeah. The K nine. What the fuck? Yeah. Everyone? Spicy K. The K nine. <laughs> yeah. Know. Spicy K. Keep refrigerated. I love how it says keep refrigerated, and he hasn't been doing. That. Wow, dude. We didn't have. We're not gonna have the full I think, experience. I think you have to keep it refrigerated after you open it. It didn't have a seal. Yeah, it did. It, it was. It's just it had, in the, the mason jar. <laughs> this did. Yeah. Didn't it? Didn't I just take. You took it off of the hot one sauce. <laughs> oh, Dude, that's way too much. Is it? I'm just, I don't, I'm just not looking forward to it. Yeah, me neither, dude. <laughs> I, like, I told you before, Taco Bell hot sauce is too much for me. Yeah, but also you're a pussy, pussy. wussy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, you can do your own if you want, if that, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's kind of like fucked up. Unless you want to take that one. I'm just going to lick it. You're just going to lick it? Maybe. I'm, I, I'm not hungry, though, because that's a thing. Oh, that tastes good. Yeah, that's, that's pretty tasty. I love how you got, like, chicken wings or strips, like, five hours ago. I'm <laughs> just <laughs> eating it. Pretty good. What do you think, Vinny? Are you having a bad time? It's not that bad. You're having a, a really, you're seriously having a bad time right now? Yeah, my eyes are starting to water. Bro, that's like, <laughs> <laughs> no it's, fucking way. It's not that bad. That was like fucking like Taco Bell sauce, like the fire one, like the Diablo, whatever the fuck. That's how spicy that is. That's pretty good. I'm already starting to sweat. All right, I'm putting some more on there. <laughs> Bro, you're not going to have a good time <laughs> with the other one. Fuck. That's actually really good. Yeah, I, I would eat that like a like a lot. But fucking tortilla chips, dude. Shout out to the what dude, the fuck. Yeah, I don't know if you saw my tweet a couple weeks ago. This is before Vinny bought some jelly, and I made a peanut butter and sriracha sandwich. Dude. No, you didn't. <laughs> you did not. Yeah, <laughs> was it good? I liked it, but <laughs> <laughs> also you're a fucking raccoon. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. <laughs> I'm a fucking little dumpster diver. Um, sriracha and peanut butter. Okay, but what did it taste like? 
So there's this Asian dish that you can dip, or it's like a sauce mm-hmm. that you dip like spring rolls in, mm-hmm. and that's oh. just peanut butter sauce, yeah, and then yeah, you, yeah. they put sriracha in it. And that was where my head was at. I was like, so just be like that. <laughs> yeah, you want to you want to like an Asian fusion, <laughs> Asian fusion <laughs> yeah. Yeah. of a PB and J. I mean, also it was just like I was really fucking hungry and didn't. Yeah. I was like, hmm, I'm gonna spice it up. Literally, but also like... Also, Vinny, why do you have this? This is definitely perfect for fucking Coke bombs. Yeah, because I do so much Coke. You do! <laughs> a bump? It's like a fucking snow shovel. <laughs> <laughs> fucking... <laughs> All right. Last Abbott? I gotta do the tra- tradition, bro. What? No, oh, what? Oh That's not God. how he shakes it. Oh my God. Have you ever watched it? I know. There it's you like go. this. <laughs> <laughs> it's tradition around here for a little extra on the last wing. Oh, dude. All right. That's a lot. Oh, that, this is like a dime size. I'll let you guys do your own. Yes, please. Go to you first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. Thanks for the fucking teamwork. Um, that was a good amount. Yeah, I don't want to fucking kill myself later. <laughs> you gotta dink it and sink it. Let's let's, let's oh. do two different shows yes. <laughs> together. <laughs> What's that from? Wow, watch <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> good mythical morning, bro. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, you're good. Dink it. Dink it. And sink dink it. it. This is nothing, bro. Just kidding, but it hasn't even kicked in yet. Tastes good. Mm-hmm. I'm afraid when I swallow, that's when all the heat is gonna. Yeah, I could, I could feel it creeping up now, like right back. Definitely when you sw- when I swallowed, it was like worse. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, also, they uh, they douse the whole wing in the yeah. sauce first, and then they add a little extra. Yeah. And by that point, they had like. Slide me that sauce. I think I need a little bit more. I'm f- I'm feeling frisky right now. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Did it hit you? <coughs> it's like coming up my nose. Uh, I'm getting the chills. Look at that. <laughs> he is. Oh my god. My whole body. Yeah, I might actually fuck that extra. It's coming. It's literally coming up my nose, like right now. <laughs> Fuck. Ow. I n- Ow. <laughs> Ow. I mean, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. It definitely, it's like tastes but good, but it's. It sucks. It's oh, yeah. I mean, if you had to eat like a whole wing or a whole batch of yeah. wings and you use that. Fuck that. Or like, I mean, that was just one bite. If you. <laughs> bless you. Ow. Dude, it's like, I seriously like <laughs> fucked up some else coming out my nose. Ow. And it's hurting way more than, th- than it should be. <laughs> There's like chunks in there, because I I remember talking to you about like thinking about wanting to snort it. Yeah, I think that's like a horrible idea. I would only snort it if I was on the show, right? Or if it was for like because of that be something legendary. that actually was watched. <laughs> like yeah. if this show was getting like hundreds of thousands of views, then yeah. fuck it, why not? So sign up to a Patreon so Kyler. <laughs> <laughs> like these little chunks would just get stuck in your fucking na- like. Yeah, that, that'll passage. be the worst part. Probably get like a sinus infection. Like when you snort salt and just cut the fuck out of you. Right. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. No, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it still sucks. Yeah. I feel like you need a little more. Oh, fuck. Dude, it's better. I'd rather have that than the fucking shit it came with. What was that, gravy? Yeah, gravy. I mean, it was okay. It was decent. It was really heavy. Yeah. Like, so. Close up on the dab. When Vinny brought the food over, he's like, guys, I got food. And it was this Dairy Queen box of chicken strips. Mm-hmm. He's like, all right, leave two for when we do the podcast later. We're going to try the hot sauce on them. I was like, oh, dang. All right. And I give him two. But then as I'm eating, I'm like, holy shit, there's still a fucking ton in here. <laughs> I'm like full. And this gravy is just like cement in my stomach. So I don't know if I could have even finished the two extra that we're using now. Oh, man. Was that like a Texas thing or like a Dairy Queen thing? Like, dip fucking white gravy in my chicken strips? 
Yeah. Like, what the fuck? I think that's just a South thing. It's, it's definitely a South, South thing. thing. Yeah. So I'm going to give a fucking Weird. review of the hot one the last day. Do it. The spice factor wasn't as hot as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was, was going to be like mace for some reason. Dude, maybe I didn't... Sp- Shake it, get it. On the second one, I got more of a flavor flavor profile. Like now, it's starting to burn. Yeah. All right, sick. <laughs> but I got more flavor flavor profile. It's definitely like a punch of mustard in first. You're like, oh fuck, that tastes a little good, and then it just just comes with like a oh, spice. you're gnarly. And that's about as much as Damon had. Yeah, it was probably about the same. But definitely having no, you, you, yeah, you did way more actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, way more. <laughs> but like the flavor isn't bad. I do. I like. I now the flavor's not bad. I appreciate that they gave a fuck about flavor and not just like fuck your butthole. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. you're not even sweating. It's not. I don't know how the fuck you're sweating. It's not. It's not that bad. <laughs> Are you sweating? Yeah. It's not like it's not hot, but I'm not like. Yeah, it's not terrible. Fucking scrambling to the kitchen for milk. Dude, fucking uh, like the 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 bomb is way worse than mm. that. Really? Yeah. Dude, if you want us to freak out, yeah, get the bomb. Get the bomb, dude. It's like you can't stop having like a popsicle or like ice cream or something cold on your tongue. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It just hurts so bad. That's why oh, every wow. time on that show, people are just like, dude, and just freak yeah. out. Like that one immediately sucks, and it sucks the entire time uh-huh. <laughs> you're eating <Yeah>. it. <laughs> So I want to talk about. Um, Not too bad. I, I want to talk about fucking this. This I was hoping Indiana you would trip that we just had. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was going to be my topic. Thanks for stealing <laughs> the, <what? laughs> the Indiana trip that we had. Oh, we haven't done that yet. Huh? Yeah, um, I, I was gonna. I mean, I, I still want to get JJ on, but dude, okay. So I messaged him the other day. Is he alive? And uh, no, dude. The the nurse actually had to te- use his phone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, J- <laughs> this is JJ. <laughs> JJ's phone <laughs> is no longer with us. <laughs> no, he, he said he got uh, surgery, his first surgery a few days ago. I don't know if it was a, a skin graft from somebody else or he yeah. didn't really explain, but he's saying he has another one coming up. It might actually even be right t- now. today. Explain, be, explain for the people. Well, hold on. Yeah. And he, but he said he's going to, I think he said he has to get a skin graft from his belly. Yeah. Which is going to be gnarly. <laughs> It's gonna be like he said his balls are already healed. Yeah, because balls I heard heal balls, fast. Yeah, dog. I've heard that too. Really? Balls yeah. and dicks heal faster. It, it's the That's same fun. exact uh, skin as your, like your tongue. Huh. So like it fucking heals like crazy. Yeah, he, he said my balls are already healed. I'm like, what? No way. Yeah. <laughs> Was his dick fucked up? No, I mean it had like a burn from like like a, like a first degree, or, like a, like a sunburn, like a little bit of skin was like. But nothing compared to what his balls look like. Did you see what his balls look like? No. Oh my god! Oh, you didn't see? <laughs> no. I gotta show you. No. It's so fucked it's up. It's horrible. It is he's awful. fucking Freddy Krueger, like for real? Jesus! Oh my god! <laughs> That's the worst season, man. <laughs> This poor season sucks right now. <laughs> oh my god! I fucking love JJ's like always in character. I know, dude. He just did, dropped a promo right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like not even that long after getting him to the hospital. Yeah, that's gnarly. <laughs> Fucked up. But huh? I guess they're they're good. I would I would assume they were like scabbed up. So yeah, tell the people what 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 what's going on with the trip. Okay, so we got invited to drive to Connorsville, Indiana. To to watch JJ and uh, some other like underground deathmatch wrestlers do a tournament called the Southern Sickness Tournament, right? Yeah. And uh, w- the next day uh, they were gonna have like the final like four uh, participate. I think it was like a ringless match, but we were gonna we drove down there to be a part of the live stunt show that was the following day, um, which they gave us like an hour and a half to just do whatever the fuck we wanted. Yeah, wherever the fuck we wanted. And even the, the guy there was like, <laughs> yeah, I don't care. You guys can literally do whatever. Like, even, like, fire shit. He was like, as long as it's not a big fire. Uh, so, JJ has a, a TV and light tube match, which I thought the TVs was pretty fucking funny. Yeah. yeah. It was actually turned out cooler than I thought. Yeah. yeah. When they fucking, like, get rammed in the corner of the ring, and the TV literally, like, folded in half. Yeah, that was sick. Which is rad. And uh, JJ had a spot where they light his fucking crotch on fire. 
by using lighter fluid, but it's like charcoal lighter fluid that he gets. Because mm-hmm. if he, I feel like if he would have had the Zippo lighter fluid, it that that shit goes out way easier. The shit that you put in your fucking your little Zippos, because yeah. I think that's what they what I've seen wrestlers use before. Yeah, but JJ is a fucking insane person. And he used the charcoal, <laughs> which that shit I feel like is less. Like, I don't know, volatile. Like, it doesn't, like, go up right away. Like, if you use yeah. gasoline or the Zippo, yeah. like, it's just, like, woo, but it, it's, that stuff, it, it, it lingers. sticks, it lingers, yeah. and then it grows big, and then it's almost, once it's going, it's hard to get out. And yeah. never mind the amount that that motherfucker oh, put God. on him. So, yeah. yeah. So bad. Which, Eric, which, Ryan. Which, like, at least JJ should have told him how much to put on. Yeah. I know. I don't know why that wasn't a discussion. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, like, we can... Uh, you can point fingers. So this yeah. could be the whole yeah. Spider-Man, like, who, whose yeah. fault fucking yeah. was it? Literally that everybody week? had a fault in, in it, you know? And so. I think when it comes down to, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, because, like, oh, our, our safety crew, which was, like, his friend. He's like, <laughs> yeah. He told Two us. Two people with water bottles. He told us. <laughs> yeah. he's, like, he's like, go grab a water bottle. That's all he said to me was make sure yeah. there's a water oh, bottle. Oh, so you actually, I, th- I was going to ask you that, if you were holding that water bottle because he told you to. or you. Yeah, he told me that, like, way before, like, like the day before or like whatever, he like even earlier that day he yeah. said, make sure like you have yeah. some water. And if that would have been okay, if the guy would have squirted like a fucking cup <laughs> or less <laughs> yeah. of yeah. lighter fluid, you don't need that much. The dude had enough lighter fluid probably to fill like this fucking, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> literally oh. to fill that, to fill that water bottle. Oh, that's yeah. probably the amount he squirted. Yeah. Like, uh, dude, fucking, I got to interject because you remember when we were in the park a lot and like some people were like talking about it and like random people and the guy goes, man, he didn't even put that much on. I didn't realize it. I'm like, yeah, you're a fucking yeah. idiot. Like he put a lot Who on. Who said that? Some yeah. random fucking like fan. Okay. Like, yeah. it, didn't, it didn't look like he put that much on. He's like, he, he put a lot on. So <laughs> much. Yeah. Dude, he was squirting for a good like seven seconds, <laughs> yeah. eight seconds. I have the video right here. It was so gnarly. Let me. Oh, let's see how long he was squirting. This is like put a Brazzers logo on it. <laughs> let's see how long he was. Okay, okay, from eight seconds on the thing till about twelve. So four seconds, which is a long time yeah. to Still just fucking time, yeah. with the you know the charcoal uh, lighter fluid used for like the the bar- barbecues like they you just the white bottles with the red cap <laughs> yeah. you just squirt like yeah. a ton comes out, bro. <laughs> yeah. And d- and it's on like a polyester like spandex like yeah. skin tight pants is what he was wearing. Underneath like yeah. more layers of that. Like it's not like he was wearing like cotton or anything <laughs> like that would maybe like not just melt to your skin. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. And I, I was watch, I was filming it because I was like, JJ probably wants a good angle, but yeah. I'm also there to like put him out. Yeah. <laughs> Which I was, but then uh, as I'm watching it, I'm like, that is way too much lighter Dude, fluid. Literally all and even fucking like all the stunt guys were like, oh no. This yeah. Is yeah. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. that's way too much. Yeah. I was like, that's way too much. <laughs> that's so much. And even I can tell even JJ was like, yeah. yeah, freaking out like, oh my god, that's way. I know. I was in the right. I was right next to Murdoch and fucking Murdoch. Uh, he just saw how much he was sp- he was spraying. He was like, oh fuck. He like he was like, I need to get a fucking fire extinguisher uh, like this shit. Yeah. And then before he was, so he was like running to get a fire extinguisher. By that time, was JJ was late. already like, and you can and you can see pinned. JJ. JJ had his hands <laughs> yeah. under his pants, like yeah, ready yeah. to fucking yeah. go. Bro, okay, and well, and the whole bit was to get his like fucking crotch area lit on fire and then a weed whacker to go and like yeah. give him a little tap you've probably seen the clip it, it was it went viral for a yeah. little bit yeah well <laughs> he's he's done it like probably two or three yeah, times he's done a lot, before yeah. and it's always a little fire but he still always wears like polyester style <laughs> yeah. like either either gym shorts or fucking like running pants that you yeah. like that would just melt and it's happened to him before but it's never been that big he's always been able to pat it out yeah or when you're at the house, usually there's like a bucket of water or a kiddie pool. We had nothing like that to put him out. <laughs> no. <laughs> I guess there was a fire extinguisher. Did he find one? I, but like by that time, it JJ was, was already stable. like on fire, like getting pinned. Like for real. Like, <laughs> Dude. That was the gnarly thing of like JJ's like, come pin me. Yeah. And was like that's When sick. he said that, I, I, like, I already respected JJ and loved JJ. Yeah. But when he said that, I was like, what a fucking legend. He was sh- straight up. Cocking balls out, yeah, <laughs> on fire. His skin is burning, yeah. and he's like, "Come pin me." <laughs> I don't know why I didn't hear him say that. I was right next to him too. I think I was just like, 
couldn't believe what the fuck just happened. And I could yeah. see his thighs yeah, were bad. just so burnt. Like, if you can see the skin already, like, peeling off, like, right away. Because yeah. some burns don't look as bad. Mm-hmm. But if it looks bad right after, then yeah. you know it's pretty severe. And, I, I mean, I, yeah, I was there. I had probably a water bottle that was three-quarters of the way full. Yeah. And if it would have been little, I definitely could have put it out. And that was the thing, like, fucking the fire, like, that bit is safe if you do it correctly. You know, that's with any fire stunt. Any any stunt in general, yeah. yeah. For the most part, if you take the right precautions. But yeah. with, when it comes to wrestling, it's hard to, like, I, I don't know. I, yeah, because, I mean, like, I mean, doing, like, us doing stunts for however fucking long, like, forever, mm-hmm. we learn, like, encyclopedia of knowledge that nobody else has. <laughs> <laughs> <You know>? Random, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's like, everybody else, like, oh, yeah, you'll need this much for a fire to get, to, like, to get fucked up. But a random person, like, in the parking lot, is like, oh, you, you could just fucking squirt, like, crazy, right? Yeah. Like, no, not Dude, at like, all. Yeah, I mean, theatrics, that <laughs> must look really gnarly, too. Yeah. It's, like, up here while he's yeah. on the ground. Um, And JJ said he could, like, feel it, like, soaking, like, in down to Ugh. his fucking butt and his legs. But, yeah. what? And after you guys left to, to rush him to the uh, ER, we all go outside, and Carson is just, like, freaking the fuck, freaking out. The fuck out. Yeah. Freaking out, yeah. screaming, stomping up and down. So hilarious. Yeah. He's like literally and, twelve. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and then like the, these guys come over, and then and then the the promoter's like right hand man. Yeah. Came up to us, and he's like, "I I hate to be this guy, but uh, your guy's show is fucking canceled. Call him right now. Tell him he's not welcome back." <laughs> It's like, no shit, he's not going to yeah. be able to come back. <laughs> yeah. Which yeah. I thought was the most fucked up thing to say. Like, when you <laughs> called me, I was in the hospital, and you're like, two things. Don't, <laughs> don't mention that this accident happened at a wrestling event. Yeah. And two, uh, JJ's banned from the building. <laughs> it's like, got off the phone, and I'm like, okay, so JJ... Uh, <laughs> You can't go back there. <laughs> what did he say? He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's kind of fucked up. Man. He was like, probably like, what the fuck, man? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're just kind of confused. It's so fucking funny. Because, like, all of us were just chilling in the parking lot because we couldn't go back in either. Yeah. We were, <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're affiliated with that. Yeah. Okay, even if JJ could, for some reason, if he was able to, like, get... Out There's of the no hospital way. to show up there, yeah, like that would have been fucking miserable for <laughs> everybody involved because, yeah. like, he wouldn't have been able to do anything. He's I, like the ringmaster. Of imagine doing a, doing whole thing. taking a nut shot with your fucking third degree burns. Oh my god, <laughs> with your nut sack looking <laughs> you like do, that. Yeah. And oh, JJ, fuck. like, maybe three weeks prior, a month. I don't know, like, how not yeah. that long before that event, he had a a fucking what is that called? A hernia surgery. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because of some nut trauma, uh, I don't know if it was from lifting weights or if it was from when he. I think it was when we did that nut shot at yeah. the Derns. Yeah, yeah, I think it was a combination of both. Because like that one, like he said, like that one fucked him up a while. But oh. then if you don't take precautions and you go like immediately into like lifting weights, then your body's just gonna fucking expand. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. It was like already like on the brink of yeah. like yeah. rupturing whatever. Like I don't really understand how like the hernia is like. With like the balls and then the stomach, like why is that? Like the, the hernia associated? is uh like your stomach lining, like popping, ripping out, out and you're yeah. like your organs and shit. Yeah, it's, it's like, like it's going against their your skin. That's right. what the hernia is. I don't understand. How, I mean, I'm not a doctor. You guys aren't. Like, how do they fucking know with your testicles? Why does it affect your balls? I have. No you know. Idea. You know what I mean, right? Oh yeah, with like the the doctor check. Yeah, they check or like he, he even said it's nuts or like. I don't know. The scar is actually like right mm-hmm. above it too, like on the like that V, like the pelvic root, right here. Yeah, <laughs> the so. pelvic root. That's a good fucking indie band. <laughs> pelvic root. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so I wasn't able to fucking put him out. I because yeah. I wanted to wait until they got the weed whacker to the spot. See, that's a, that's the thing too. Like, so I was like, you can't okay. just go in the middle of a fucking thing and be like. Okay, JJ's not. You can't light yourself on fire right now, dog. Right, right. Like, hind- <laughs> like you can't do that. Hindsight's twenty twenty. You know, if I would have been able to, I would have not let him light it. I'd be like, yeah. "Yo, dude, that's fucking too much lighter fluid," and that probably would have, I probably would have looked like a bitch, but would have saved him. It would have saved him, but also JJ would have been fucking pissed at as yeah. fuck. Yeah. But it, maybe not. Maybe he probably would have been pissed in the moment, but then would have oh, been, yeah. oh yeah, dude, that was way too much lighter fluid. Thanks for not letting him do that to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> also, I shouldn't have waited till he was 
bring the fucking he had no haste yeah. to grabbing that weed whacker yeah and it wasn't even yeah i don't i think it was on but i don't it didn't he didn't actually fucking hit the throttle no because like i don't even think it was on because it, uh, it broke when it hit when they did their little stage thing. oh when it hit the thing it, it broke. broke okay so yeah he has this fucking weed whacker that's not even on and he just pokes him in the <laughs> ass yeah. Yeah. and that kind of and then him moving it's just like Fucking yeah. giving the fire oxygen and just it's way too big. And I saw him like going down to yeah. take his pants off. So I'm like, okay, like I'm gonna not get in his way of taking his pants off and I'm gonna film this. But then by the time I realized like he was struggling with getting like taken out, because I've done that before yeah. where you have to take your clothes off and then you're okay if you do yeah. it quick enough. I know because when when he was uh, rushing and he and he kind of hit the wall, mm -hmm. like that's when I thought he he was out because I was like there was. At that point, there was, like, a fraction of, like, no flame or anything. Right. Like, at least from where I was standing. And then, fucking, so I run closer, and then he just engulfed again. I was like, oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> that, that's the thing. Like, with, with running around and stuff, it's giving it oxygen. Yeah. yeah. And because we've used even fire extinguishers in the past. And after having yeah. lighter fluid on ourselves, and it doesn't put it out all the way because we're not laying, like, flat and motionless. The second you... If it could almost be all the way out, and then if a little flicker yep. of flame catches the rest of that fluid, it's just you're just gonna get lit up again. That's happened to me and JJ, and I had to get completely fucking butt naked just about yeah. the first fucking day of. Have you ever with those gotten guys. any like uh, working with fire so much? You've ever gotten burned like that? I I have gotten uh, second degree burns. It was about this, but big. nothing where you had to get skin graft or anything. No. And I feel like he, he's either got the worst of a secondary year burn or a third degree burn. He said he had only... That nut sack looks like a fucking third degree burn, bro. It just looked bad, but... Yeah, I, it looked like inside of a plum. It, <laughs> yeah. well, so thir <laughs> third degree burns actually... Third degree burns actually tend... The skin tends to look either black or... or oh, like, okay. Or if it's really deep, deep muscle, it'll look white. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I thought he had third degree because it was when it was yeah. white and it wasn't I, it wasn't white like the skin was peeled it looked like deep muscle yeah. burn so I was like oh shit but it's usually black or white but I think there's usually like an indent like it's burnt through so many layers it's like yeah. it's not smooth you know like yeah. so I mean the, his nut sack definitely looked really bad um, did did, did, uh, did the doctors tell him how long he's supposed to be in there for for so he he has. Second degree burns on 15% of his body, and they said roughly uh, a day per percent. So around 15 days, roughly wow. two weeks. And he's been, it's been like, what, a week It's now? been a week. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Today's Sunday. Yeah. So it's been over a week, wow. actually. He's just chilling in fucking Indianapolis? Yeah. Sick. He's just <laughs> by himself. What do you tell your, your fucking, uh, like, employer? Like, I'm in Indianapolis for two weeks because yeah. I'm in the hospital. <laughs> Dude, I wonder if he still has his job. Not as wrestling. His job, he worked yeah. at, he worked at uh, the Walmart distribution center, on, yeah. like, loading and unloading trucks. Actually making pretty good money doing that. I know fucking uh, shout outs to Jalen because I talk about him on literally every podcast I do now for some reason. But <laughs> he's talked about... Um, Selling me because I was freaking out about not having a job. He goes, just go to Walmart, man. I mean, you fucking make like 16 an hour. I was like, oh, shit. I, I should. I yeah. applied, but of course, nobody's going to fucking hire me. The application for <clears> Walmart <throat> is so long. It's ridiculously I've, long. Is it yeah. really? I've applied yeah. to Walmart once like a year or two ago. <laughs> yeah. It kind of like just like as to say I applied because, you know, they're like, get a job. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it literally takes like an hour. Yeah, it takes so fucking like long. legit like they even say like put aside a couple hours or whatever <laughs> Jesus. to apply like it right like is yeah. it or is it just one hour it's a long time is yeah i think it took like 35 minutes which is way too long if you want to like answer these questions like honestly and read the whole yeah. fucking thing because there's so many fucking things like, like hypothetical questions yeah. like if you uh, overheard your co-worker talking shit on your boss <laughs> yeah, yeah. would you <laughs> join them and talk shit with would you just walk away and pretend that it didn't happen <laughs> or would you go tell your boss yeah, yeah. So, wh what's the right answer yeah to fucking walk away <laughs> or to go tell your boss. Yeah, like, they're, all, they're all bad at, uh, options. <laughs> I would just, yeah, yeah. If I was like a cool boss, I'd just like, I'll just talk shit with him. Like, <laughs> my man. Yeah, those fucking applications, man. I'm just, I'm still, 
hire, or, uh, doing applications because fuck the job I'm going to do tomorrow. <laughs> God damn you it. start tomorrow? Yeah, I start tomorrow. That's yeah. Sonic? Well, I was trying not <laughs> to say the name so I can you like... Were, dude, people probably knew you worked at Panda Express before. Yeah, but not? it's because I can't shit on the fucking employer publicly like this. <laughs> That's the only it's reason why. It's not Sonic. It was a joke. It's not Sonic. It's Dairy Queen. Like, yeah, but whatever. What time do you start? Dude, they're not going to fucking know. They're like, oh, fucking... Moist cheek podcast. I mean, I I agree with you, but fucking, I don't want to have that conversation with the guy. Be like, did you say something about on the the moist cheek podcast? (laughs) That's hilarious. (laughs) (laughs) You're like a kid getting sent to the principal's office. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) But um, yeah, that's gonna be whack as fuck. Dude, one time I used uh, when I used to work at installing windows. When I used to work. When I used to work. (laughs) Period. When I when I uh, worked at that window installing job. For a moment, I was I would take the truck home just because it was easier and like they let you just use the company truck. Yeah. And one time I used it because they you have a ladder on the back. I don't know you were there yeah, when I, I fucking there, yeah. the ladder fell off when yeah. I was going up that hill. Was like, oh fuck! But I was <laughs> vlogging. I was vlogging like and I was coming. I was exiting the freeway and coming up to a light because we're getting close to this the spot. Yeah. And I was vlogging like talking about the stunt I was about to do. And some lady looked over, like, all confused and, like, upset. I was, like, waved at her and, like, I showed her, like, the camera and I, like, vlogged her. Yeah. And then the next week, uh, my boss asked me, he's like, so, uh, were you uh, driving around, um, <laughs> filming, or, like, whatever? And I was just like, I thought, at first, I thought it might have been because of the stunt yeah. using yeah. the fucking ladder. But no, the lady just called the number yeah. and said, and "I was like, oh yeah, uh, I was just vlogging, you know. Like I didn't kind of, I didn't even know how I would explain it, but <laughs> you're so just like, funny, All right? <laughs> <laughs> so useful though. I didn't know that part of the story. That's hilarious. Yeah, fuck Josh. Oh wow, dude. Brandon used to work there for like four years. I was almost four years working there too. Yeah." It's not that bad, but... Was it good pay? Uh, not really. I, I think I was there for almost 14 years. 14 years? Not 14. <laughs> I was almost there. I was, I was working there for almost four years and was up to like $15 an hour. But I also was like yeah. really come and go. Like when yeah. we filmed Too Stupid to Die, I was like, see ya. <laughs> and, was, and he and was cool with it. And he was, yeah, he was always cool yeah. with me, like, t- like taking time off, especially for like the film stuff. Yeah. And because they were kind of like, a, what is it called? Like, a, like mom and pop. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, like not a like a big corporation. So just take what they could get, and uh, th- like two or three times I would fucking quit or like leave for filming or whatever. Sometimes we'd gone for a few months. Like with too stupid to die, yeah. I basically quit the job for like four <laughs> months and then was starting to run out of money quick. I was like, <laughs> yeah. well. I asked for that job back probably three or four times, and he always let me come back. Yeah, but wait, so all right, so you quit when when you went to, when you left to film Too Stupid. Did you say I quit, or did you say I'll be back? Uh, I don't think I just really said either. Just kind of <laughs> left you him just on didn't red. show up. You just ghosted. <laughs> yeah. <him. laughs> but I have said I quit before. Yeah, and then and filming Too Stupid was a month, right? Two months. Two, two months. months. So. I, I don't know if I told him that or not, <laughs> but either way, it's been over a year now since I worked there. Yeah. It, it wasn't too bad, but like, it was like, no matter what the fucking weather was, you had to work unless it was like really life threatening. But for the most part, you had to work in every weather condition, fucking wind, rain, snow, lightning. I mean, unless it was like really fucking bad, like down here, it's insane, but yeah, man. Construction, it kind of fucking keeps you in shape. Yeah. Get super tan. So, yeah, boys, um, two weeks from now, the Logan Paul Floyd Mayweather match. Oh. What do you think of that, Blazer? Yeah, it's whatever. It's just whatever. Yeah. I really. Like I'll watch it if I'm like not working. That's how I feel. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna order the fight. Um did you watch the press conference? Yeah, it was dumb. So cringeworthy. I hated everything about it. And the it. only exciting thing about it is when Jake took Floyd's hat. Yeah. And then what the cool thing about that was, 
like immediately after he was like already selling like merch <laughs> already selling merch he got a tattoo in the yeah. airport like <laughs> selling out merch in the airport yeah, yeah. like that was so. like that was sick i fucking i hate jake paul but also love him uh, dude i'm feeling the same way too like he you you have to respect the fucking disney channel flow yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i mean he he knows how to sell fights yeah because like that what's great about them two together boxing Fucking Jake Paul literally just had um, his fight, and then people were like, "Oh shit!" Now we're ready for fucking Mayweather fight. Jake Paul does a does a stunt during the Mayweather fight that hypes him up for his next fucking yeah. fight. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, Damn. he just got to deal with Showtime. Yeah, who who's uh is he is he fighting somebody already? Um, Jake? No, I don't think I don't think anything's lined up. But well, he just got to deal with. What's Showtime. the deal with Showtime? What's just show that, uh, just like a fucking day in the life of Jake. No, Paul. well the, the um. It's like a uh, like a streaming service, right? Showtime. Showtime. Yeah, yeah. I know what Showtime is. I'm yeah. saying, what is he doing on Showtime? I think all of his fights are going to be on it. Huh? Yeah, like his ne- his next fights. So all right, that's crazy. I mean, what a fucking he's three and zero, bro. Three yeah, no. but the fucking three and zero. Oh, yeah, yeah, but he, the first his first fight was uh, <laughs> what, that UK dude, right? Yeah, I don't think is is are we counting that? If because like people keep calling him his three and zero, oh, I'm like, are we counting the first one though? Because the first one was. Whack! I, 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 could, I didn't even. I haven't even seen the first. The UK? One. Are you talking about KSI? Well, no, Logan fought KSI. Oh, okay, KSI. Yeah, right. and but they're on the same twice. Bill. Okay, yeah, yeah. On the First time I believe they're on the same bill. Yeah, right? they were on the same bill. Fought him twice, and Logan lost both times. Right? Yeah, Logan has never never won a match. Yeah, and ne- he's fighting he's, Floyd he's fucking fought, Mayweather, the best fucking <laughs> boxer that's ever stepped foot on this earth. Yeah, Mayweather's undefeated, fifty-two zero. It's insane. Yeah, <laughs> with like I want to say thirty knockouts. I could be wrong. Yeah. Something like that. But that's pretty good. 52, 52 and 30, and 30 something knockouts. Yeah. Like that's pretty good. Yeah. And Logan has two fights, lost both against and a YouTuber. Against a YouTuber. <laughs> and now is fighting Floyd Mayweather. Right. I mean, but it's not like he's fighting somebody that's like a Mike Tyson fucking build. He's not going to get no, fucked up. No. He's just going to like. Well, no, he could get, dude. He, he very well likely could get fucked up. Floyd has. Has hands. Well, yeah, he's sure. a fucking professional boxer, but he's not known to be like a heavy hitter. No, no, no. It's he's known for his like defense and his speed. Yeah, and stamina. Yeah, right. Which is huge. Stamina is like really yeah. fucking important. Yeah, because like it's all part of it. Are dodging. they doing? Are they doing like full match rounds or how many rounds? I think they're doing twelve rounds. Damn. Because like I don't think Logan's gonna fucking last twelve rounds. I don't think so either. But he's been he's been going hard in the gym. You have do you. If he didn't, I, I would fucking be like, you're an idiot. I, I want to look and see <laughs> but how, you also, how tall Logan is versus... He's six... I, I want to say he's six three, and yeah. Floyd is 5'8". Yeah. And he has, like, an extra, like, 50 pounds on him or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's 6'2". He's yep. Damn, dude. Logan's only a fucking year older than me. Yeah, and then Crazy. Floyd... I, how old is Floyd? I want to say he's 45, maybe. Some shit like that, yeah. Yeah. But, dude... With... Imagine like having the team like Logan's. Like, who, who the fuck could set that fucking fight up? Logan just comes up with an idea, like, "Oh, I yeah. want to fight Floyd Mayweather." Like, how do you even? Well, yeah, that was the that was the thing before him posting the fucking the flyer, right? Before, because people were like, "Oh my god, this is just happening!" Yeah, blah, blah. and it's yeah, like yeah. And it was never confirmed. He Logan Paul yeah. never talked to anybody. Yeah. <laughs> he just kind of just it, posted it's, something. Dude, it's low key marketing genius. Yeah, of course. You know, for both of the uh, the Pauls. Yeah, they're really good at marketing. That's why. That's why yeah. I do respect about them. Yeah, and everything they touch is just turning into fucking gold. And, and their 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 demographic, like their fans, have gotten a lot older too. Yeah, like because obviously when they had the Disney, the Disney Flow fans, it was just a bunch of little kitties. Yeah. But gotta respect it, man. But we're definitely, I'm, we're definitely gonna order that fight. I'm actually kind of stoked on it. What, what's your predictions on it? Floyd's gonna win. What, what round? Do you think it'll come down? Is it gonna be a knockout? Stamina, not being able. I don't know. I, I think it's, it's gonna be a stand. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's gonna be that. Do you think Logan's even gonna knock him down? No. No. Not even get one hit. He'll get some hits. It's gonna be like like when Floyd fought McGregor, which you know was what I mean? just fucking embarrassing. Yeah, it was embarrassing, and, and and McGregor got some shots on him, but 
but it came down to a stand a stamina thing. Yeah, you know, if, uh, McGregor just ran out of fucking air. I think it was like the seventh round, and you could totally tell. But it came down to decision, right? You didn't knock him out, or did no, you no. It, it was um, it it's uh, what's it called? A technical knockout when yeah. when the ref stops it or something, yeah, something like that. Yeah, um, yeah. I think it was the seventh round. The ref stopped it. Um, I think I think that's what it's gonna be. I I watched it once. Was he just didn't have his hands up? Or yeah, what? like he was just so out of out of breath, and he was just like against the ropes, and and Floyd was just going in on him. Yeah, he plays the long game. Yeah. Which is and smart. It, yeah. That's how, that's how boxing, like, should be. Okay, yeah. but imagine how insane it would be if Logan just fucking knocked his ass out. I mean, that's what I want to happen. I want to. Ha- <laughs> I want that to happen, Dude, too. fucking, I was watching a Schultz podcast, and he was like, Andrew Schultz, and he was like, fucking, if Logan Paul knocks out Flo Mayweather, weather, he's going to be president. <laughs> <laughs> like, let, let him run for president. <laughs> what's, the, what's the youngest you can be to run for president? Uh, I don't know. I'm like sixty, probably some shit. The youngest? Yeah, there's a certain yeah. Like, yeah. age. No, like I don't think it's age. Obama was under sixty, right? I don't know. Yeah, he had to have been younger than sixty. Maybe like fifty something, forty five. I want to say it's forty five. That makes sense because the country is old as fuck. And yeah, people died when they were like twelve, like all the time. <laughs> 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 like, that was normal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right here. According to Article 2 of the U.S. Constitution, the pre- the president must be a natural-born citizen of the United States, be at least 35 years old. That's 35? Yeah. It's pretty Bro, young, dude. We're almost there, Vinny. You can run for president. That's <laughs> super young. God, yeah. And uh, you have to be a resident of the U.S. for 14 years. So. Vinny's it, for president. It can't even... It, only 14 years. I would, I would think that you'd have to be, like, your whole life here. Right? Yeah, but this is America. Opportunities. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But when it comes to political shit, I just stay yeah, quiet. For real. <laughs> yeah. I just let I just let the left and right fight. Yeah. And just be like, yep, yeah, you're both dumb. Yeah. <laughs> um, so completely off topic, my mom texted me today. She's getting that knee surgery very soon. Let's the doctor it doesn't work out. God, dude. So the doctors told her <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Just uh, kidding. The doctors told her that 10 out of 500 people who get the surgery die during surgery. That's pretty good. Yeah. She goes, that is not very good odds. They want me to have a living will and an actual will in place. So do you remember everything I told you to do? And I don't remember. Oh, yo, you remember to fucking put her uh, like heroin. Just put a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is what she told you. Yeah. And uh, uh, she's like, should I have something in writing to have you as an executor because I want you to empty out my bank account as soon as I pass? Remember the truck payments. Come straight out of it. If you want to keep the truck, keep 600 away for it a month Bro. in that account and no questions would arise. As for my money marketing accountant at Yale, show proof of, my, of me dying and you get $20,000. I think I got. It's not like a fucking Bob Barker fucking <laughs> game. Show me a certificate, get twenty thousand. No, no, no. So with the company, she's worked with Yale University for uh-huh. the past thirty five years. So yeah. you get like pensions and all this crazy shit. Yeah. Um, and then she's like, I got a two thousand dollar death insurance at the university to pay for cremation, call human resource, blah 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 blah. As of Thor, our dog, um, and she's like telling me all the meds that he needs to take. And I'm thinking, I'm like, fuck, dude. Like, uh, obviously, when she sends me this, I'm like. The worst case yeah. scenario just comes into my mind. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck would I do? Question. Yeah. If your mom pops off, right? <laughs> <laughs> are you are you popping the dog too? I feel like I would definitely no. be like, I can't, can't take care of no, this dog. No, <laughs> I'd be able to take care of that dog. That, dog, that dog's sick. Um, <laughs> this dog is huge. It's so big. <laughs> and apparently he doesn't have an appetite. <laughs> you have to like force this fucking yeah. behemoth to eat. <laughs> Dude, he weighs probably like 210 pounds. Damn. Yeah. It's yeah. a fucking like baby. Yeah. And he's only, he's only a year old. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. His, 210 his... pounds is a toddler. <laughs> Aren't they? I don't fucking do 210. Oh, that's like me, actually. Yeah. 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 I well, weigh like 180 something. This yeah. dog is huge. <laughs> yeah. I'm an idiot. Yeah. It's a, uh, <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> it, it's a, um, fuck, what kind of dog? Uh, it's a, um, Bull Mastiff. Bull Mastiff, yeah. 
And, uh, it's like the dog what? from fucking... Why does he know about your dog? <laughs> I've met his dog. Yeah. I know, yeah, yeah. but like... <laughs> you literally know more about your dog. <laughs> is it a mix or is no, it... No, it's, it's an English bull mastiff. It's the, the Sandlot dog. He's never and seen the Sandlot. I don't know if he has. Have you? I don't think so. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> but I don't like 80s movies. I don't think is it's an 80s movie. I think it's a 90s. Is it 90s? Uh, maybe. I don't know. It's like that type of dog. Oh. Yeah. And his father was a pure championship purebred, 250 pounds. And <laughs> Thor, my mom named him Thor, of yeah. course. And he's, he's I, I mean, he's maybe like, what, 15 months old now? But, um, yeah, he's like 200 pounds. It's insane. Guess what year the Sandlot came out. <laughs> I have no clue. I want to say... Uh, 93? 91. You're right. 93. Hey. What year did Sandlot 2 come out? <laughs> Isn't there like four of those fucking movies? I don't uh, think I've ever seen the second one. Dude, these sequels are garbage. They're not real life. <laughs> <laughs> they are real life. It's they horrible. Happen. Yeah. They've happened. There's, there's three there's of like, them. There's like five there's Home Alone There's three of movies. them? There's three Sandlots, including oh. the original. Yeah, there's like five Home Alone movies. Yeah. yeah. That's and insane. They, they, after the second one? Dude, this, I actually like the third one, even though it's completely different <laughs> cast. There was the third one with the little kid? No, like, the, oh, the little not, kid. Not, 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 fucking, not fucking Macaulay Culkin, the other one. That's yeah. literally like being like, is the Bible with the Jesus guy? <laughs> yeah. The yeah. kid, he has like a, kind of like a coconut yeah. haircut. Yeah. He, uh, what, what other movie is he from? <laughs> yeah, uh, fucking uh, Scarlett Johansson's actually in that movie. She's the older sister. Home Alone 3? Yeah. She's a uh, sister in that, in that movie. That's wow. funny. Probably one of her like first... Yeah, there's a movie, one of the first movies that she popped off in, I think is Ghost World, and people like love that movie, even though it's a shitty movie, but they, they just like, it's Carly Johansson's first movie role, it's like, it's really good. Yeah. It's like, no, watch the actual film, <laughs> it's not that good. <laughs> coming at, for a fucking movie from like 1997, I'm coming at you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 the, the kid that plays in Home Alone 3 is fucking mm. Max Keeble. <laughs> that's who it yeah 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 the, max dude, keeble max keeble's big move dude I know, I oh dude so good yeah i know i i, I love because like um it's like an it's a from 2001 max like, keeble dude. like a disney tv it's josh oh, that's fucking uh yeah josh peck right yeah yeah Bro, do you know that fucking when you had sex with Lara, you put on Max Keeble's <laughs> big move? Uh, I I remember watching that movie. That's amazing yeah. on VHS. Yeah. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. Wow. Because like when she told me that, I laughed. I pissed myself laughing. I was like, you, you really like that's your like move m movie, Max Keeble. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it works. Yeah, oh. obviously. God. <laughs> Dude, I had a weird fucking dream last night that, uh, like, I mean, it bounced around all over the yeah. place, but like the one like main premise that I remember was Mitch Carter was coming down. Shout out to Mitch Carter. And he, I haven't met Mitch yet, right? I don't know. Have you? I don't know. You should know that. Why are you asking me? <laughs> I don't think you have. He's lived, he's been living in New Mexico the past couple years. <laughs> he went, he used to be in the Marines when I met him. I met him at a fucking uh, house party. We played po beer pong. And then out of nowhere, it was Can like... Can you slide me that fucking hot sauce? Not, no, the other one. This one? Yeah, the good one. He was like... Shots fired, the good one. <laughs> <laughs> you look familiar. I was like, I don't know. Maybe like maybe you've seen one of my videos, but he also liked to film like dumb <laughs> shit with his brother and people in the Marines. And we were just you know, wasted. He beat me in beer pong. And he was like, yo, tomorrow's 4th of July. We should film some crazy shit. Yeah, 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 sure, whatever, let's do it. Like, I was stoked, and usually when people are drunk, they, like, make empty promises, but first thing the next day was like, yo, you still down to film? This was, like, back in 2015, and we filmed some really gnarly stunts that day. He's probably one of the gnarlier dudes I've ever filmed with, honestly. Like, down for basically anything, like, no questions asked. Yeah. So, um, and I haven't seen him in probably over a year, which fucking sucks, but... I was, I had a dream that we were going to prom together. <laughs> like it was really fucking weird. Wait, as dates? 
I guess, but it wasn't like <laughs> sexual like that. We were just like, yeah, like we're going to a party, woo! And like, he, like he like was gonna meet up with here, but it didn't like feel like this neighborhood. But it didn't feel like my house in Utah. It was like some random house. We met up, then we went to the fucking city and went to like some fucking like club. But it, had, it was like almost like like a party, like McDonald's club, like playground, like ball pit. That's like it was amazing. fucking weird. Man. Sounds like a, that sounds like a fun afternoon. Yeah. Dude, it was a weird dream that we're like, yeah, we're like like our families were like, all of our friends were coming <laughs> together. We're going to fucking prom. <laughs> like that was like what in my head, what I thought it was. And we're all like, and then, yeah. but before we went to prom, we went to like, went, we went out and then I ended up not going and like left mm. him fucking high and dry. It was just fucking ridiculous i wish i could like vividly remember my dreams because that i don't know it's fucking i've had dreams about people i haven't seen in years that i haven't even like really thought about like oh yeah you were the homie back in the day yeah it'd be cool if you couldn't record our dreams that would be Sick. amazing because there's so many times where like i'm fucking dreaming and it's like a full-on like movie yeah. like a full production with like fucking special effects and like yeah. plot lines yeah all right. this shit i'm like and when i wake up i'm like what the fuck was that <laughs> <laughs> but like because like in, the, in the moment i'm like this is like i remember dreaming and like that shit happening and i'm like this is a good movie and then, then like so i tell myself wake up when you wake up write everything down right and i fucking don't never remember never shit. Shit. Impossible. <laughs> do you ever uh, like realize you're dreaming in the middle of your dream yeah and yes then you fucking can you either take control or you usually just wake up and you're like this isn't yeah. fucking real like i try to like either go fly or fucking do something crazy. Yeah, I've never like never take, try to fly. Take the reins and then just like it, it I realize too too yeah. much that I'm dreaming and then just wake up. You've never had a lucid dream? Where yeah, you I've, could, like, I've had lucid dreams, but like when I lucid dream I'm I'm not like Superman or anything. I'm just kinda like just still doing my like shit. Walk into the office. <laughs> like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like for real though, like actually, yeah. Writing out checks. Like, yeah. There you go. I, I dream I dream about my um Do you remember the movie Blink Check? Blink yes. Check was great. Ah. <laughs> I fucking love yes. that movie. I fucking dream about my uh like childhood home a lot. I don't know what the significance is. That's sad. It really is. One time, Depressing. oh, this is like one of my favorite dreams. One time, I was, I was like in my childhood home, right, and I go look outside, like in the backyard, and Glenn Danzig's on my swing set. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm 100 percent serious. Oh <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is this dream? And he's like the size of a child, <laughs> yeah. like a little fucking goth kid, just a buff fucking kid. Yeah. Just <laughs> what a weird fucking dream. Yeah. I, I remember not too long ago after you posted that video of you ripping like the remainder of your tooth out. Mm -hmm. I had a dream. Like it was like a day or two later I had a dream that I was ripping my teeth out. Yeah. Ugh. And I guess that's a common nightmare people have of yeah. like I've had that your teeth before. are either falling out yeah. or they're like you're ripping them out or they're just like turning into like yeah. something else. And that's like one of the worst things where I've had dreams like my hair's falling out or I'm yeah. like shaving my head or shaving my beard and I just yeah. look fucking ridiculous. <laughs> you wake up and go, oh, thank God. Thank fucking God. I've had so many teeth dreams where I just wake up and I'm just so fucking happy, like sweating. It's terrifying that you didn't that you didn't actually rip them out. Yeah. God, some dreams are so real. Like you're like, dude, my brother is fucking dead. I had a dream <laughs> that he got ran, ran over by a lawnmower. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and he was fucking dead, dude. And I was like sad. And like when I woke up, I even like it was weird. I even had that feeling of like mourning. Like when you wake up, yeah. like you're like actually, yeah. Like, yeah, it feels real, and you have to like come to grips with reality like okay, yeah that sh that shit didn't fucking happen everything's okay i've had dreams where i've like the same situation i mean i mean not somebody getting run over by a lawnmower but <laughs> <laughs> but um where I, I, i'll wake up and i'll still think something happened to that person and i've had like had to call just to make sure that they're okay right it's gnarly. It's funny when people are like, I had a dream about you. Like, especially girls. Like, yeah. are you okay? Or like, if they're like, I had a dream about you, but then leave it at that. I'm like, what was it about? <laughs> <laughs> Did we fuck? And it's like, it wasn't like that silly. We were just hanging out. <laughs> like, why, t why tell me this? <laughs> I don't care. You had a dream about me. That's great. So I got. I'm gonna show and tell right now. But uh, oh yes. Sick dude. 
<laughs> yeah, dude, show and tell. So <laughs> as we were fucking cleaning out Kyler's room, right? He had a bunch of school papers <laughs> for when he was like 12. I've like, I saved <laughs> a bunch of like, like old yeah. art. And you threw all of them away, but I kept this, baby. I kept this the fucking nugget of amazing. Little do you know, I didn't throw it all away. I have actually kept it. <laughs> <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to throwing it all away. I was going to. I was either going to just leave it there for somebody yeah. else to find because it's in this drawer on the side of my bed. Yeah. That'd be on brand, though. So I would, Just leave I would it there. Kind of respect it. <laughs> or bring it with or throw it away. And I was like, mm, yeah. mm, mm, so I'm going to, I'm going to slide it over with. to you, Vinny. I'm going to get this tattooed one day. It's so cringy. I, I, I don't know what, I wish I would have dated the shit that I, I drew. Really wish you this is probably it. middle school. I like maybe like eighth or ninth grade. It's so cringy, bro. It's so cringy. <laughs> it's so cringy. It's like some juggalo shit. I, I love it. Like, why is he hissing? <laughs> oh, it does say hiss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I used to love to draw. Hiss. I didn't, don't fuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> don't fucking want that dude. I couldn't have been older than fucking 13. That's so fucking So probably great, like 7th or 8th grade. But What I does this know. say right here? Ma- I think that's the Mer- name of the character. That's my, that's my head canon at least. Yeah. And then it says, then a little stick figure girl, it says, my hero. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fuck with me. My hero. Wait, are these stick figures having, having <laughs> sex? No way. <laughs> and it says, woo. <laughs> uh... <clears throat> I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't Please amazing? get that tattoo. I'm going to. Where, you, where on your body? It's going to be a calf piece, like full yeah, calf piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like my favorite part about that drawing is the mustache. Did you check that out? <laughs> <laughs> I have no recollection of fucking drawing that, honestly. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. How, how old are you? I don't, I'm guessing middle school, but like... Between, I, I really don't fucking remember drawing that. It has to be mine though. It's like yeah. in with all my other <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah. I did draw. Room. I did draw weird shit like this. <laughs> 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 like this, definitely looks like something I would have drawn. The fucking sword through the head, <laughs> <laughs> and like the devil shit. I was definitely into all of that, and that was probably around eighth grade. It was when I was really into like. Listening to Slayer and into satanic shit. So good. I guess I just haven't drawn for so long yeah. that I don't even remember like what having an imagination is like. <laughs> and like, draw- <laughs> I, like, I don't remember fucking drawing that. But yeah, the chick is saying my hero. That's hilarious. <laughs> the other ones. Just I think saying, the ones are woo! just like. I think I, I think don't. They're just cheering. It's not like <laughs> it's not like woo. Like it's not like a re- sigh of relief. It's like woo. Yeah. Oh, I didn't notice that there was flames as the backdrop. Yeah. Are you gonna get the flames too? I don't, I don't think, I think you so. can just do like a couple lines of flames in the back. Like, no, I think I'm just going to get the character and maybe the My Hero. <laughs> 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 and the words for sure. The, the fucking cartoon bubble, I have to have that. Oh, you have to have that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's pretty like, fucking so amazing. So fucking subscribe to our Patreon. Uh, that's going to be a video one day. Yeah. Definitely. Of you getting that tattoo. Yeah. What if we just get a tattoo gun and Kyler does it? <laughs> it will not look anything like the drawing. That's for sure. <laughs> look way better. <laughs> no. All right, guys. This has been another episode of the Moist Cheeks podcast. We have a Patreon. That's uh, patreon.com slash moist cheeks. Follow us on Instagram at skinnyvinny666, at Kyler Vic, at blazer will die. Um, and then we also, a couple of us also have OnlyFans too. Yeah, just a couple. Just yeah. a couple. The one, no, but not the one you want. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's so true. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's the true statement. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. Don't uh, fuck with us. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. See you next week. See ya. <laughs>